A whirlpool is basically just water spinning in circles, and they are believed to be able to suck things down quickly. Today, I will be demonstrating what exactly happens when something is dropped into a whirlpool. So, in a previous video, I have demonstrated how to make a whirlpool in the sink. I think in that video, I tested squeezing some foaming hand washing soap into the whirlpool to see what would happen. And uh, I think the foam got sucked down to the bottom very quickly. I will be testing what would happen if a solid is put into a whirlpool, like a ping pong ball or a sponge. So to make a whirlpool in the sink, we first take the plug and put it in the sink and then fill the sink up with water. Next, we uh, use, we swirl the water around and then take the plug out. But today, I will actually be testing putting this ping pong ball into the uh, whirlpool. So you can see that the, the ping pong ball is buoyant, it floats on water. But what would happen if it was dropped into a whirlpool? Well, now I'm going to swirl the water around, take the plug out and drop the ping pong ball in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, the ping pong ball didn't get sucked down immediately, but after a couple of seconds, it got sucked down to the bottom. So uh, the water, because the water is flowing down into the drain, it pulls everything down. Okay, so now I have filled the, uh, the sink back up with water and this time I'm going to test what would happen if a sponge gets put into a whirlpool. Now, sponges are uh, also buoyant, they also float on water, but when they get uh, when they soak up with water, they will get heavier. I have squeezed it dry and I will be putting it into the whirlpool while it's dry. Okay, so uh, the, the sponge uh, also didn't get sucked down immediately, but 
after a few seconds, it was spinning and was getting started to, uh, to get sucked down. Whirlpools naturally form when there is a hole in the ground in the bottom surface under the water. The water can then flow into the hole and then form a whirlpool. Those can be much bigger and suck much larger things down. So this is why we avoid going near whirlpools. So that's kind of what happens when objects get dropped into a whirlpool and I will talk to you in the next video.